silly. What do you think? You happy now? Yay! You look beautiful. You look so handsome. Would you like to treat her? Good morning everyone, it is the 13th of December which is whew, a bit crazy isn't it, it's 12 days till Christmas and I'm getting there now, I'm getting there, um, kids presents are sorted, I need to finish off some of my family's presents, I did get a few bits over the weekend though which made me feel a lot more confident about the situation, Mark is the difficult one, he's just you know those kind of pe people that like don't really want for much and if he wants something he's already bought it and um, he's just, he really loves giving gifts but is never really that fussed about receiving them so I'm trying to think of what I can get him. I've got like a couple of ideas but I do want to get him something special although I must say the older we get these days the biggest gift we seem to give each other is time um you know like being able to go on a date night or like booking some time off when the kids are at school and preschool to like spend time together that just seems to be what we both prefer um but obviously with the way things are at the moment it's quite difficult to like put faith in forward booking things um especially with this omicron situation and and all of that i I won't lie when I say that I'm feeling a little bit anxious um, just because um, I suppose I'm just bound to be and I, I'm not way inclined as well like I, I worry a lot about health related things um, after like Daisy was born it just it frightens me so I'm just trying to stay positive and look forward to what I hope will still be a nice Christmas I mean if anything should change we did it just as five last year and I know that we can do it again although I'm not as prepared and I don't have a turkey booked or anything but um let's just stay optimistic uh, so yeah, today is a working day, it's Monday, uh, I did the school run this morning, ran some errands afterwards because we ran out of dishwash tablets and I wanted to get them while I knew that we'd run out because it's always one of those where you're like, if we run out of something we'll like leave the packet out um so it reminds us that we need to get something or we'll like let each other know whoever's going to the shops but i saw it this morning and i was like right <laughs> you are not forgetting that because there's nothing more annoying in the snow and you've loaded the dishwasher and then you go and put a tablet in and there's none left and then my poinsettia my one that i've had since like the beginning of december i was watering it and then i noticed it had like mold inside and then so that has swiftly been replaced um i love having flowers flowers are like my treat to myself um and they are seven pounds which you know some bunches of flowers can be even more than that so i have replaced it just because i really like the reds and the traditional colors of christmas it's just me i know that like these days i'm not com entirely convinced that that's really in anymore but i really like it because you know like the best thing about christmas for me is all like the nostalgia and the traditions and stuff and it just takes me back to when i was younger so yeah i love a poinsettia so i've got one of them as well and a loaf and a couple of bits for christmas day um should i go and get them they're in the office where Mark's on a conference call, so I have to be really quiet. I'm back. Um, so I went to Waitrose because um, that was nearest, and they had these little tiny games. They're from lagoongroup.com, so if you wanted to Google them, maybe um, you could do, but they had loads of different ones. And this one, it was they were all £3.50. This is called Who Am I? They had a charades one. Charades? Charades? Tomato, tomato. <laughs> um, but my grandma and grandma's have a copy of the actual game of that, so I didn't get that one. There was another one where you had to 
it was like a 60 second one and you had to talk about different topics of Christmas without repeating yourself and then I think the other one was like which would you choose and it was about two horrible scenarios and you had to choose and justify which one but I, I thought I'd go for this one we do have a game that's similar and um, that we play a lot as a family um, and like you strap it to your head and stuff but this was just like I thought it'd be fun to take along and it's a Christmas themed one so we'll probably take that game with us anyway the one that you put on your head because the kids find it hysterical um, but we can also extend it and do like a more adult one maybe so pick that up and then we do something um, on Christmas day in my family that they have been doing since long before I was born and I'm 34 in January so it's a long time now and um, I've spoken about it before so I'll try not to go into it in too much detail because you'll probably be like we know we know um, but they're called like Mr Snowman presents and it, the idea they were almost like little stocking fillers because we didn't do stocking fillers in my family when we were growing up um, like little presents after Christmas dinner and everyone would sit around and my gramps had this giant snowman that was like hollow that they'd made and he'd reach inside and he'd be like, oh, Charlotte, it's for you. And he'd open it and they're all just like, it was, we just would be waiting all day for Mr. Snowman. Like, it was almost more exciting than coming down on Christmas morning because it was just like doing it all together as a family. And like, there's been years where honestly, there's been like, I don't know, 16 17 18 of us if not more and we're all sat around this table laughing our heads off and like you know you'd do ones that would be silly presents or you do like little ones that you thought would be nice and oh uh, it's just so much fun but i have the kids presents sorted for that and i thought of my family's out yesterday mostly um i do have a bit of online shopping to do today if i can find the time um but the kids have got like books that i've shared like on my instagram stories and stuff they've got a book each they've got like a little toy each um and something else maybe two little toys very like minimal stuff but um i thought i would also grab a lint um Father Christmas for each of them. Why are you not focusing today, Camera? You've been very difficult, but yeah, these were um, on offer as well. So I picked three of these up and um, they're quite simple to wrap. Um, so I got those as well. And um, yeah, it was nice to just sort of get a few bits sorted this morning after the school. And I quite like doing that. I always like take a mental list with me or try and write it down on my phone. like. Is there anything we need while we're out because it's just mo way more convenient than going out later do you know what i mean and it like saves a bit of time um but i was walking down from school because i dropped daisy off it as bill was with his dad but i did see him this morning on the playground which was nice to give him a cuddle um and he'll be coming home after school today uh, but I dropped Daisy off and then we have to wait a little bit longer to drop Stan off and then I was walking back and one of the mums from Daisy's class was coming back the other way again and she was like oh you look like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders and I didn't realise like I must have just looked a bit like a deer in headlights because um, you know I am a bit nervous about stuff and things like that but um, it was really nice to chat to her and we were just like you know and you just have that conversation where you both like like venting and offloading and it was so lovely it actually made me feel loads better you know when you just talk to someone um so if you're watching this today and you feel a little bit nervous message one of your friends and just be like how are you feeling because i'm feeling like this and like i could just you know do with the chat because honestly it makes you feel so much better and i was really grateful for our chat this morning it was really nice to see her she's lovely um but yeah i am um, as you'll probably have seen by the title of this video because I always declare when I'm working with brands um, I'm working with Wooka again today. Now if you don't know who they are I'll um, leave a link to my previous collaboration down below along with like a link to the website and stuff. I also have a discount code for you to get 20% off the whole range but typically they are a range of period pants. I've got my latest order here but they do period pants, they do um, everyday underwear, they do like little bralettes and stuff. Um, I have a big wrap around hot water bottle which really good when you've got cramps and things like that and um yeah they have sent me a few bits again today just to share with you i absolutely love them one of my biggest gripes as um you know someone that menstruates and all of that is that pads generally in the evening i always found like be the safer and more comfortable option and i say that like 
loosely because they would just go in my underwear and then the minute I would like try and get comfortable they just scrunch and it just be a bit like you know that kind of like crunchy feeling it never felt completely comfortable and I I don't know I was always having to rearrange them when I went to the loo and stuff and just didn't get on with them but these I wish you could feel the fabric because I the weirdest way to describe it, it's like it's really silky soft but you know when you're quite tender and bloated when you're on it like it hugs my tummy and supports my tummy which I really like because they're quite high waisted as well um <laughs> showing just how large my bottom is here um but they really hold you in but it's such nice fabric and they're relatively seamless like the way that they sit on your skin it's not like massive vpl station you've got the support on your tummy and i can wear them all night without any problems i hand wash them like i just rinse them out first and you can chuck them in the wash with other things or like on their own and the only thing that is generally not recommended to do is um to put them in the dryer if you do it by accident a couple of times it'll be fine because it but it can like affect the absorbency but i just stick them on like the era when it like out on the line when it's sunny or on the radiator for a little bit in the winter and again because of the fabric they do dry really quickly but i've never had a leak way more comfortable than pads and i just love them so these are the french cut medium flow i wear the size xl which is like 14 to 16 and um, i've got a massive bottom and i generally with underwear would always like to air on a bigger size because you're less likely to get any like digging in and it's just generally more comfortable and um they go from they go up to a 6XL. So there's a huge range of sizes. They're very, very inclusive, which I love. And um, this is the first pair. So I would say this is like a little bit more sporty in style. Can you see like the trim here? It's really pretty. And then I love these. These are beautiful. They have lace all down the hip. Can you imagine that? Like even when you're on, you can still feel a bit sexy. Do you know what I mean? Like it's nice to feel nice. These are the high waist heavy flow. So there are a range of different flows uh, depending on what your period is like and what your flow is like. So you can pick according to what you feel your needs will be. Um, but these are really high waisted and they're just, oh, I just love them so much oh they're so good and i've been a complete convert they'd also be really good if you were doing like a pamper hamper for you know someone in your life that you know like a friend or like sister mom relative that kind of thing and you can pop these in with like some chocolates a bottle of prosecco some face mask bath bombs i'd be really happy to receive these because it also gives me like the push to try them if you've never tried them before also gift wise i forgot to mention this but they come in this little silk drawstring bag so um it'd be really like a nice present to receive you know like the luxury of opening them up and you've got these to store them in as well so if you'd like to keep them separate in your underwear drawer then you always know where they are but they are fantastic so i will leave the discount code on screen now don't forget the fact that you also get your free gift as well which is quite nice to throw in if you are going to get them as a gift for somebody um but i think you'll really like them they are one of those things that as a result of being able to work with such a brand um that i'm just so glad that i did because i use them every time i have a period and i would not look back like i don't want to use pads anymore like these are way better for the environment and way more comfortable as well but i i need to go do some work now i've got a lot of editing to do i'm actually working on some pieces of content for january because um sometimes it'll be that you need to do it before christmas because they like agencies don't work over the holidays um but obviously I would need to if I ever needed to pick anything up so um, I'm trying to do it so they have it ready for January which is quite nice because I'm like helping future me out but it's also quite a lot because I'm very busy at the moment and I have been for a while and um, I'm ready for Christmas so I'm going to go and work very hard today try and tie off a few things that have been hanging over me and um, then I will take you with me on the rest of our day.
hello. It is, gosh, who knows? It's half past five. Um, I don't know. I think I showed you a clip this morning, but the kids um, advent activity calendar thing, um, they're one for this week, or for today, rather, that I'd completely forgotten about, um, was that they can pick whatever they want for their dinner. And, um, they got smart about it because they've requested a McDonald's. It makes me feel a bit bad because they only had a McDonald's like two weeks ago. Um, you know when I have my friends round, so it's more than like what we'd normally have. Um, I didn't normally go there that much in all honesty. Um, but uh, that was the promise and as I've mentioned before in these vlogs by now I don't break promises. Um, at least like try not to anyway especially not to my kids um but i am stuck to me as always i'm sorting laundry out i'm sat on the floor there because i've got a massive backache um I, say, I think i said that did i say that this morning i can't remember honestly my back's been killing me recently but i think it's just because i'm always like up and doing stuff and this that and the other um i have been what have I been doing? I've prepped the pat lunches for tomorrow, like I always do. Always do it the night before. If I can ever give you one suggestion, especially if you've got children that are like starting reception next year, and you know you choose to do pat lunches this that and the other, do do them the night before because they change everything. Like I just feel like it enables me for a starter to like put more effort in sometimes. Um not always the case when it's really busy but I just like to be able to take my time with it. And then also in the morning it just means that I can focus on the kids and I'm not like rushing or panicking or thinking what have I forgotten because you know it's hard enough not to drop a ball as it is in all honesty. Um but I've done them. I've caught up with most of my work. I actually had a really like successful day today. I wasn't sure how it was quite going to pan out with what I had to do, but I've gotten on top of things, which is brilliant because um, it just sets me up right for the week, especially on a Monday. Um, I'm trying to work out what pans what. Um, and I've ordered so many blinking Christmas presents today the amount of money that I've spent is obscene at least like in Bongo anyway um I, I had to get loads of bits for Mark as I mentioned before and um I finally you know got them I was so stressed um because I just hadn't like even started I know it's really bad but I've done it I've I can't say what I've got him obviously because like he does watch these sometimes and I don't want to ruin that for him um but I just feel really glad that I've actually got him sorted out do you know what I mean because it just felt awful that I hadn't really thought about it much um and I bought some bits for my parents I bought some bits for other family members um and just generally I feel a bit more organized just have to wait for it all to arrive and then i can wrap it okay sorry <laughs> i am um, i ran out of battery so annoying so i did put the laundry away because that's kind of what i came up here for um i've just laid out all their uniforms or outfits for tomorrow because it's another work day for me and i want the day to start <laughs> um well <laughs> Uh, I think I'm I'm very tired. Can you tell? I'm looking forward to my Big Mac though and hopefully I actually get some chips this time because if you remember last time my order didn't come with chips or bills didn't so he had mine. Um, I'm really hungry actually. All I've had today is soup <laughs> and two flatbreads and probably too much coffee but um, I've just not not had time i'm always in that frame of mind where i'm like oh my god time's precious don't waste it crack on get stuff done that you need to do um and yeah i think the kids are probably going to be quite hungry as well i've just realized as it's in front of me here um this book bill's class did a book advent um so they all if they wanted to could take in a book and be it'll be wrapped and then it would be picked at random every day and they would read it at the end of the day which i think is such a lovely idea and the whole concept is is that they 
read it to you to classmates and stuff which I guess is good for them like um you know presentation skills and reading skills and confidence and all of that so Bill took so much care over what book to pick he was like do I pick a regular book or do I pick like a Christmas one because we have a crate if I show you oh <laughs> you're on a tripod that's why it swung and um, that crate there it's keys to bin bag in the background that's for my friend's little girl I've got loads of clothes to give her um that crate there is full of um what have we done here <laughs> it's full of um christmas books and this is one that i got i think it was last year and you kind of sing it it's called over the river and through the wood and i bought it because one of my friends who lives in the us um like shared it and stuff and you basically read it but like sing it and stuff and then there's a bit um every couple of pages where everyone has to shout nay so he took it in, not only did he go and read it to all of his class, he like sang it to them and they all got on board and he said at one point they got too excited and he had to go, no, 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 it's not time to nay yet. But he did such a good job that he got five dojos for um, how well he read and he was like, and that's the best that anybody's got so far. And um, I was so proud of him because he came out buzzing and obviously I've not seen him since Saturday afternoon because he was with his dad. So it was just a really nice thing to catch up on when I picked him up after school and then he was even more buzzing because him and Daisy had conspired in the school playground that because of the advent um, activity today they were indeed going to get McDonald's. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's, it's been, it just made me smile. So if you managed to find this, I think I found it on Amazon, it might be a little bit hard to get a hold of because I think it is. It is kind of based around Thanksgiving um, but I really enjoy it and the kids really enjoy it and I just thought it was really cool that he took like something that I started with the kids and like took it in school. I just, I don't know, it made me smile. Like, isn't it funny how those little things that you do for your kids, they latch on to and that becomes something really special. So that was nice. Um, I haven't really got anything else to tell you at the moment in all honesty. I'm just looking forward to um, my food. <laughs> <laughs> and to chilling out and getting the kids in bed um, I've just been finishing off some emails we were watching the end of Miss Hilda because me, Daisy and Stan started that uh, last night and obviously we didn't manage to finish it off it's quite long but we were watching that before and having a cuddle which was lovely and um, yeah I really enjoyed that actually it was really nice to spend some time with them and um and then they've gone off and done their own thing now Bill's on Fortnite. they're very fortunate to not have any homework and Daisy's reading books haven't been given back to her so there's nothing like that to do tonight and yeah another day down and then tomorrow it's the 14th and then it'll be the 15th and then it'll be 10 days until Christmas and I hope we all get to have a good one it's the only thing that I'm thinking of now just want to have a good Christmas and I want everybody to be safe and happy um but yeah I'm gonna go and hang out the window now and be on like McDonald's watch because I'm starving <laughs> Oh, I'm so
get you 